Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I'm back today to work on these envelopes. Now, these are the ones that were made out of book page and they were a little bit smaller. I went ahead and I collaged onto the envelopes the French ladies printables from um, tailor-made journals and I absolutely love how they turned out very simple um, I didn't do a lot of embellishing on this and I just added these ladies on here and I think it looks awesome I love the background against the book page now what we're gonna work on today I have not sewn all of them and so I will need to do that later but I wanted to work on the closure part so what I do and I've shown this a few times in probably two different tutorials and I've done some craft with me using this same technique but I have these made up and these were made during a video called mask making envelope closures or something like that but these are going to go with these envelopes so the first thing I'm going to do is measure out how much string I'm going to need I'm using crochet thread so let's say I wrap this around a few times and then I want to wrap it that's once twice and then I want it to hang down a little bit so I would say about there so I'm gonna cut a couple pieces of string this length and I'm going to do one and see if this is the right length. So All right. This one's already sewn, so I'm going to do this one first. I feel like this is the right color to go with it. Yeah, I want to use this. So I'm going to punch a hole near the top half. I think I'm going to do it from this end. And I am going to use the same color eyelet. All right. Now, to do this, you put the string on with the open raw edge on the back. So this is going to be my back. And then I'm going to go ahead and fasten this on. And then cut the back off. I use my small little scissors here and then wind this around to make two rounds of knots.
Gonna double knot it. And then I'm gonna kind of go around to the top. and then double knot it again. And I'll go ahead and cut the extra thread off later because it's kind of finicky to do that. But see, I'm gonna wrap around once, twice, and it'll go around two or three times. So that's pretty good. I think that's good. If anything, the string can be a little bit longer, so this hangs off a little tiny bit more. So I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six using this like example thread. So I'm going to cut five more, and I will make it a tiny bit longer than this one. So that much longer. So this is two. Three. four and five. Okay, before I cut it, I'm just gonna count it to make sure. Two, three, four, five, yeah. All right. So for this one, that's a little too matchy-matchy for me, but I think this might be cute because it's kind of like it could flip over and match. Um, it's kind of like the lining of a purse, how the back or the inside has a pattern, but I don't know if I like that. For some reason I like it better with this because the colors over here are a little bit different. This one feels like too matched up for some reason, like it's it's too matchy matchy I guess. There's not too much variety. Let me put this aside for a second. These are not very different from each other. I am having a really hard time. I really don't like any of these. I might make more new um, little handles because I like that, I think. Just because if these don't go right with this project right here, 
then it was meant for another project. And I don't want to like do something mediocre with it here when it could be like, when it could like shine <laughs> in another project. Okay, I kind of like that. I think I'll, I'll do that. But I think I said I didn't like that before, but it's kind of the best choice out of all of these. I think I will make this the same. I think it goes well with the images of the people. This might be the hardest one. I kind of thought I might like this yellow one with it. But this blue is too dark for that, I think, because it's too much of a primary color vibe. Hmm. Maybe I'm going to have to do this one later because I'm not liking any of these. I think this one's going to be okay, especially with the eyelet. So let's go with that. I am going to punch I'm going to do it on this end. And then grab an eyelet from here. I'm excited to finish these up because I feel like I've been working on these for forever and I want to get to some other projects. I have like a whole list of things that I still want to make for my retro journals and I'm starting to realize that these retro journals are going to be full but I really want to make them. Okay, I still need to sew, so I'm not going to tie it on because it'll just make sewing a nightmare <laughs> with the string like following around. I need to trim this just a little bit. I really like this um, tape right there. So I think I want it to show, but I feel like it shouldn't show. Like it should be near the top actually. All right, this goes with this. So I'm gonna grab one of these strings I'm so glad I decided to get this kit with the French ladies, this digital kit. I am really loving it. And 
so many images come in that pack and I think all of her digitals are like that because I got the wallpapers as well which I am absolutely loving and I'm so glad um, I bought it when I did when it was on sale all right I'm also feeling really lucky that these, I don't know, do I have 10,000 eyelets here? I, I talked about this um, eyelet order from eBay that I received. Well, it got lost and then I received it because I opened a case with the post office and they were able to find the package because it was misdelivered and get it to me but I am so glad that it works really well with this crocodile I mean it's perfect it doesn't splay out at the back but it's like a perfect circle I don't know if you can see that and I'm glad it works well because I probably have 10,000 eyelets <laughs> and no, I do not feel like I got too many. <laughs> and at first I wasn't sure if I liked the look, but now that I've actually worked with it, I really do like the look. It's, a, it's like a little bit modern, but I feel like it's a good complement to the vintage retro stuff that I do and it's kind of like the scrapbook papers scrapbooking papers that have like a modern twist to a vintage um, look kind of like this so I, I like it I also think that before, when I was testing out these eyelets, I was pressing down way too hard with a crop dial because for most of my eyelets, I feel like I have to press down pretty hard, but it seems to work okay. I mean, it worked better when I'm not pressing down so hard, at least with these eyelets. blue one okay And one last one. Whoops. This one is a pink one.
all right so i think i'm gonna end the video here because i need to sew these before i can actually fasten them um but i want to show you guys a little secret well it's not really a secret <laughs> but I have limited space to work and I've decided that on the weekends I'm going to kind of like focus on something else besides always working on my journals. You know, I did take a break for a few weeks because of um, the stuff that I've been going through medically, but I've been working a little bit on cross stitching and also on a jigsaw puzzle now a year before the pandemic i know jigsaw puzzles are a huge thing right now but a year before the pandemic i kind of got obsessed with dollar store puzzles just because i found some really cool ones and then i also found some on clearance at hobby lobby and so I got a couple from Hobby Lobby like a year ago or something. Um, and this was one of them. I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm not trying to move everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Sorry, I'm, holding, I'm not totally boring you guys, but I'm like moving everything out of the, f the frame. So I have limited space to work. So my solution, because this is my desk, so I'm doing the puzzle on my desk, but I just put another piece of foam core over so I can record and under it, I have been doing this puzzle. It's an Archie Comics puzzle. I don't know if you can fully see that. It doesn't look like it's focusing for some reason. There we go. But I did this uh, this weekend. And I'm probably going to work on it for the next few weekends. I love doing puzzles. Um, and I got this on clearance at Hobby Life Lobby for $3.74 either a year ago or two years ago and now that the 40% off coupon is going away at Hobby Lobby what I've been doing is using that coupon to buy puzzles at Hobby Lobby and I've collected a few and the puzzles there I think are already reasonably priced like I think there's not many that are over $20 so with 40% off and some of them are like $12 or $10 um, so with 40% off it's actually a really reasonable price for a puzzle but I just wanted to share that with you guys <laughs> something fun that I've been doing um, as well as, I mean, crafting is always fun, but <laughs> all right. I hope you got some crafting done with me today. I'm super excited about these. I feel like I have some momentum going right now. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below and please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today and I will talk to you next time. Bye everyone.